What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Fudge Muppet. It's Scott here with another Is It Worth It video, this time all about the 10 Charisma perk Intimidation. Now, this is very much the same as the Wasteland Whisperer perk, which at rank 1 allows you to pacify an opponent below your level, and at level 23 you can get rank 2. When you pacify someone, you can incite them to attack, and then that same pacified person at rank 3, which is acquired at level 50, you can give them specific commands. Now, now, so to answer the question, is it worth it? Yes, but for certain characters, and those certain characters are characters that aren't very good at fighting in general and perhaps do have higher charisma because they sacrifice things like endurance and strength or agility for 10 charisma, or characters that are basically just role-playing as maybe even like a highway robber or some sort of policeman sort of dude, or something like that. Basically a very charisma-based character, like our diplomat build. Whereas, I don't think it's really worth it for any other character. Say if you have some sort of melee kind of build, you're far better off just putting investments in the melee damage perks like big leagues or or putting perks into rooted or something like that or if you're an agility character put some stuff into i don't know blitz or gun fu or other things that are going to help your combat i find intimidation wasteland whisperer and animal friend are all kinds of perks that really help characters that aren't too crash hot at combat. If you already have a powerful combat kind of character, I don't really think intimidation's very necessary because a lot of the time you can just kill the people a lot quicker. It's a bit of a waste of time. Sure, it can be fun, but uh, it's a bit of a waste. Like if you're trying to be efficient about what perks you get, it's probably not the best for a very combat centric character. But once again, if you do have a charisma based character like the diplomat build or someone who's trying to manipulate the battlefield or something like that, then it's definitely a very, very, very good perk. Now, if we go under the assumption that you are just playing a charisma character, one of the reasons this is the second best pacifying type perks, those being Animal Friend, Wasteland Whisperer and Intimidation. Intimidation covers basically the second most common enemy group, which is basically human. Raiders, gunners, trigger men, and basically any sort of human that you're going to encounter, which makes up a lot of the wasteland. Though it's still not as broad as Wasteland Whisperer, which covers enemy types like super mutants, synths, feral ghouls, death claws, rad scorpions, a whole bunch of stuff. So if you're tossing up between Intimidation and Wasteland Whisperer, then absolutely get Wasteland Whisperer, because it simply covers a broader range of enemies. However, Intimidation is also very fun, it's cool for role-playing, and definitely if you're just planning on getting all of them, Intimidation, Wasteland Whisperer, and Animal Friend, then go for it. Get it all so you can just pacify anyone in the Wasteland. Anyways, thanks very much for listening. I'd also suggest you go and watch the Wasteland Whisperer Is It Worth It video for more information on that, and you can sort of get my opinion on that. Engage what you want to do, whether you want to get Intimidation for your character. And also, I'd say check out our Diplomat build, who actually puts Intimidation and Wasteland Whisperer into practice if you are looking for a sort of charisma based build. I'll put a link to that build right down in the description. Anyways, thanks very much for tuning in. Like the video if this helped you or you just enjoy a good little bit of discussion and subscribe for more Fallout 4 videos such as guides, is it worth it videos and builds. I will see you next time and have a good week.